what's going on YouTube it's a video I've been waiting to put out just uh, for some things to be settled up I know a lot of guys have been wondering where's the international so because I've been doing a lot of time in the Ford and I haven't put out a lot of content I apologize for that but just not a lot goes on with the Ford. I go hook up a camper, I go drop it, I go home. It's, you know, it's pretty routine. I'm not picking up back, many backhauls. I'm not, uh, I, I did pick up a few things out in Washington two different times. One's a mini excavator, another a cargo trailer, but that's for a friend of mine who's moving back to uh, Tennessee from Washington. So it helps him out. He, uh, you know, helps out on fuel for me to bring stuff back for him. That's nothing through the company. That's just helping a friend out. But other than that, I mean, it's just not a lot going on. So, the International. It was either three days before or three days after. I think it was three days before. It was right after I got put the Kenworth on the road. Some, somewhere right around that time I can't exactly remember because it was like the 1st of May so it's been a month and a half uh, I'd have to go back and look I put a picture on Instagram where I went and loaded up an old boat haul that was on a Thursday the following Saturday we were going to take it to the dump and uh, the truck was parked over there at some property we own next to my dad's house and uh, told him I said, hey, I'm gonna be heading over there in a minute. If you wanna go ahead and start the truck, be letting it warm up. And then when I get there, we'll take that boat hull off. So this was either, if you follow me on Instagram, you may, you may or may not remember that picture. It's been a while back. Uh, but that was on a Saturday. So I'm wanting to say the Monday after was when we lost Tuesday after was when we initially lost the U-joints started having the issues with the Kenworth but so it was somewhere right around in there it was either the this was either the Saturday after or the Saturday before that so he goes over starts the truck letting us get some heat in the engine and stuff he goes back in the house He's inside maybe, he lives like 15 or 20 minutes from me. So, you know, it was going to be, it was going to run for about 10, 15 minutes before I got there, which is about what I like to let my trucks run before I take off in them. Uh, he's back in the house. Maybe two to three minutes and his neighbor's knocking on the door. He's like, hey, what's up? And he's like, you know that truck's smoking? I said, what truck? He's like, the one sitting over there next, you know, over there in the field. Well, it's not really a field, it's a lot. Uh, he's like, the one sitting over there. So my dad looks out, and from around the backish, like the windshield area, he starts seeing smoke. He's like, crap. So he runs out there and realizes, obviously, that's not normal. So he grabs his water hose, and by this time, he's starting to see flames. So he grabs the water hose, starts putting water on it, but there's nothing, nothing he could do about it. Uh, so, well, Illinois State Police sitting there on I-57 headed toward, Nat, uh, toward Memphis. And I seen a Dodge Challenger sitting in the median island, I didn't think nothing about it, but it was a friggin' Illinois State Police with a Dodge Challenger. But anyway, so he's putting water on him by this time. It, it starts flaming, 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 and he just has to back away. And then of course, he calls the fire department, and they come, but it was a total loss. It uh, burnt the motor, everything on the front end, and all the cab blew the windows out, the back window. But like 
the paint on the outside of the back of the cabbage you'll see in the pictures didn't get it and didn't burn my generator that was on the back didn't even melt the gas can i had back there for the generator so you know obviously it was back of the motor front of the dash type area where uh, the, the fire was the hottest and started so of course you know this last month and a half been going through the insurance process so i didn't i was just waiting until you know everything was settled up with them before i made the video on it uh of course i had to go through this big long thing and they've done their investigation and all that and we're thinking you know they asked me well you know did it have any aftermarket anything in it well obviously it did i lived out of the thing i was almost I had my microwave we had my air conditioner uh, my bed was in there you know i had an inverter and all that uh, and the inverter i had was up near the dash area because it was tied in up there so i'm no fire expert investigative person but I'm wondering if something didn't short out with my inverter because when you turn the key on the inverter just stayed on in the on position because when you turn the key off it um, would kill power to it and then when you started it would have power back to it and the reason I done it that way was because when the truck wasn't running I used my generator so that inverter, you know, didn't need power to it all the time. So I'm thinking maybe something shorted out with the inverter or something on that line, so I don't know what else other than something shorted out on the motor or something like that would have been. So, but yeah, it really sucks because we lost that around the same time the Kenworth went down. And now, you know, it's taken month and a half for everything to be settled up so this is a month and a half that if I'd have had the international I could have been working it and not be in the Ford because it's made me sick putting all these miles on my Ford because I didn't buy it for this so but, uh, they're actually picking the truck up they are gonna get it today but I think they gotta get it in the morning so everything's done with it and it's going away and like I said I'll add the pictures in here at the end of the truck yeah made me sick of course I didn't have it insured nowhere near what it was valued I guess that's my fault but I didn't know what the value of it was I just had it insured for what I initially paid for it but that still don't include the brand new tires I had on it the EGR valve things that were done to it inside of it all that doesn't include none of that so I'm losing money plus the the, the cash value of it was more than way more than I had it insured for so that's kind of my fault but you know it is what it is I just had it insured for what I paid for it but uh so yeah so that's been rough they say everything happens in threes so it was drive shaft transmission international so that's my three so I, hopefully i'm done but, so it's been a been a run of bad luck and a tough go at it but we're hanging in there and we're making do and uh just wanted to give you guys a video on the international and uh, man i'll tell you miss that thing you know, I've got that truck and trailer which obviously ain't working it much but a lot, a lot of my mind says wants to go back to a Holland home but, so I don't know what to do but I miss it like I said you know it ain't bad being in the Ford but I miss the extra money and I don't know I just single pulls aren't my favorite I mean they're faster and Obviously, you don't run an ELD and all that, but I, I really like doing the uh, multi haul on the haul and tow, so I can't wait to get back to that. So, well, I'm gonna finish this video up up here and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram if you don't at uh, the Hustle Haul and Tow.
catch you guys later.